Coca-Cola is the classic example of how clever marketing strategies can help you scale your business to the global level. The company didn't earn its position by merely selling a soft drink. The much acclaimed product once was sold as a fountain drink to pharmacy visitors and is now a globally recognized brand. How did they grow so big? What is their marketing strategies? How can we use them to our business? In this video, I'll be sharing some of the most successful marketing strategies of Coke to show you how you can grow your business. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886 by the pharmacist John Pemberton. I've already done a detailed history on how Coca-Cola was invented and how it became a huge brand. I will attach this link in the description. Do go check it out. Coca-Cola has built itself into an emotional brand from the time of its infancy and created its entire brand to appeal to people's emotions. Have you ever wondered why? Why have they targeted the emotion? Because it gain, helps you gain customer loyalty and this brand knows it. The company actively uses emotions in its marketing strategies to connect with its audience on a deeper level. You might have seen this emotional branding with other brands too. Let's say you buy a handmade product. Nowadays, a handmade product comes along with a description on who made it, how was it made, how many days it takes. This is directly touching your emotions. With an emotional branding, you directly appeal to your customer's emotions. Why not apply it to your brand and see how it works for you? It is always different. You can always try it now. Next is their strong brand identity. We typically recognize brands by their logo, color and packaging. Coca-Cola has set itself apart by remaining consistent with its design. Can you imagine from 1880s, they have remained the same iconic black and red color. Brand has maintained the same logo, the same colors and also the bottle shape which is timeless from 1880s. This has made them stand in their customer's mind. Even with multiple bottles present, you can easily identify which is the Coca-Cola bottle. This is what is called a brand identity. The brand has created a smart portfolio for themselves. Instead of adding unrelated products to their portfolio, they added only drinks. Also included local brands into their umbrella, integrating themselves into the culture. When Coca-Cola entered India in 1956, they faced a lot of competition from Pepsi and other local brands. To beat the competition, Coca-Cola bought one of its local brands, Masa, and integrated along with their brand. This worked marvelously for them and their revenue increased by 40%. Same strategy can be applied when you are trying to take your brand into a new territory. Be ready with your research. Another interesting strategy would be Coca-Cola's competitive pricing. Now this has helped the brand capture a large audience and grow its customer base. It's very important for us to compete in the market to match the competitor's price but also give a you know a beginning advantage to your clients the coke strategy was that whenever they penetrate into a new market they offer their products in a low cost to bring in the sales later when the coca-cola begin to pick up momentum it repositioned the pricing once people start trusting your brand the quality of the product they are willing to pay the amount this strategy can help you immensely when you're trying to launch your new products. The next strategy would be personalization. They broke many records with their campaign Share Coke. People love it when a brand is trying to connect them with a personal level. Printing common names on Coke bottles made people go wild finding their own names and having a supermarket memento in their home. This is actually a simple strategy but an ingenious marketing idea. This encouraged people to buy new Coke bottles in the hope of finding their names. How cool is it? You can also try this for your own brand. It may not be a name, it might be a simple slogan or anything that connects to your customer. Coca-Cola is also known to handle its missteps and failures with grace. An example of this is the infamous new Coke debacle of 1985. In this year, nearly after 100 years, the Coke was invented, the formula was changed and launched as New Coke. What the brand didn't factor into the decision, however, was the loyalty and love for old Coke, which, had, which was shared by millions in the US. In short, this move did not work. These are some great examples of marketing strategies and lessons of how Coke built their brand that is now a 
very massive one. Some of them might help you in forming your own marketing strategies. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next episode.